This is uh, representing the Earth. Okay. Ooh. And this represents, what do you think? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, our first uh, challenge is how far apart uh, are they? Like, uh, roughly. Like, roughly, about that much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess maybe about that far, maybe. About that far? Hang on. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Roughly? Uh, yeah, okay. roughly. About like that? <laughs> I'm okay. guessing, but yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know, maybe that. <laughs> okay. Like this far? I'm feeling it's like here. Somewhere? Rough, right there. And this is really difficult. Alright, alright. Let's, let's, uh... Okay, I'm just gonna stand here. Okay. Can I... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Seat of my pants upside here. Okay. These are some images I found on a Google image search for the Earth and the Moon. Diagrams that are not to scale are pretty common. And I understand why we make them. So you can show the detail without showing all that uninteresting space in between. But they can have a problematic effect on learning because they give people the wrong idea about the relative proximities of things. Now, if we want to talk about the distance between the Earth and the Moon, yep. it's actually... It's about here. Think about this. It takes light one second to go from the Earth to the Moon. It takes eight minutes for light to travel to the Sun and four years to go to our nearest star. And then consider that there are a hundred billion stars in our galaxy and, as far as we know, a hundred billion galaxies in the universe. So the universe truly is bigger than we can imagine and certainly bigger than we can draw to scale. 